Hi, Matt B here and welcome to M2M, the channel that burns the nonsense. And welcome to this new series simply called Moon Hoax, where I debunk the most common moon land hoax theories, both old and new, from the era of Apollo from 1969 to 1972. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, select all, and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And if you'd like the video, then please hit the thumbs up. But the best thing for you to do if you comment below in each video. Let me know how I'm getting on, and if there's any moon hoax theories that you'd like me to add, then let me know in the comments below and I'll look at adding it. So anyway, let's get on with the video and roll the credits. Number three, Apollo 17 flag and Earth photo is photoshopped. Okay, so the claim is this iconic photo taken by Apollo 17 commander Gene Cernan of scientist astronaut Harrison Schmidt standing next to the US flag with the Earth in the background is photoshopped. And in particular, the Earth or even the whole photo is copy and pasted into a black background. First of all, let's point out the glaring obvious fact that these conspirators always seem to miss. Apollo 17 was in December of 1972. The first digital editing software that may have allowed this to be done wasn't developed until 1985 and Photoshop wasn't developed until 1987, a full 15 years after Apollo 17. But we've all heard the weak counter-argument before, haven't we? NASA was hiding advanced technology that could do that. Then if you ask them for evidence of that claim, and all you'll get is silence and crickets. Now onto the more technical but no less obvious once you understand what you're looking at. As this meme claims, this is the official NASA.gov image of AS17-134 dash 20384 and that's true so if you go to nasa.gov website search for the image save the image and the only option you have is to save the image as a jpeg what's wrong with jpeg well there's nothing wrong with it it has some very good uses but the thing about JPEG it is a lossy image file format but allows you to store many images on your hard drive because it compresses the file into more manageable file sizes but this has an effect on the overall image quality and this effect can be achieved by turning up some of the levels in Photoshop so here I have a JPEG copy of the same image Look what happens when I turn up the colour levels. The same effect as in the meme. Now when I take a file type of the same image, in this case it's TIFF or Tagged Image File Format, which is popular among graphic artists because it's a lossless file format and doesn't compress the file. So when I do the same thing as I did with the JPEG, there are the some of the same if there are there are some effects but no effect on the pixels or image quality if you'd like to hear more detail about jpeg and tiff files pop over to buddy slack's video all about this link in the description as for you moonhurks conspirators another silly theory burned <laughs> 